Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today's topic may seem a little bit eccentric, yet it's a topic that's very close to my heart. Cascadia Code, the best font ever. If you're a fellow tech enthusiast and or a programmer and haven't heard about this font, then buckle up because you're in for a real treat. This is the font I use for programming in VS Code, my terminal, and many of my videos. Okay, okay, before you ask what's the big deal with the font, just take a second and admire it. It can turn the boring default VS Code font into this work of art. Just looking at it makes me want to go back to coding right now. And the best part is that this font is totally free. So today I wanted to have a quick chat on just why I love this font so much and how you can quickly set it up yourself without spending a penny. If you're like me, you probably spend a large portion of your day staring at your terminal or IDE. So why not have a say in how they look? Cascadia Code is an energetic monospaced font created by Microsoft, originally intended for Windows Terminal. It has a modern yet not too corporate look and feel to it, which makes it perfect for those long programming sessions. Each individual letter is a crisp, clear-cut design that looks beautiful on its own, but when presented in a file, you truly start to appreciate the beauty that emerges. And because it's monospaced, your code is neatly organized in columns as each letter has a constant width. For example, both sentences are 77 letters long and are the same length on your screen. In a non-monospaced font, this is not the case. For English text, it may not pose an issue, but for a code, a monospaced font definitely makes looking at the code much more pleasant. In fact, I would argue that due to its monospaced properties and the tasteful design of each individual character, Cascadia Code is one of the most easily readable fonts ever, a feature that's mandatory for large code files. Another defining feature of the font are its ligatures. Ligatures are just the symbols that you see on screen when you type two or more characters that are combined into a single symbol to make the code even more readable and aesthetically pleasing. For example, in fonts like Cascadia Code, ligatures are used to turn sequences of characters like less than or equal to, or not equal to, into single glyphs that more clearly represent their function in the code. Here's a quick demo of the ligatures in action. You simply type in the characters as you would, for example, an exclamation mark and an equal sign for not equals to, and the ligature will automatically appear. So now let's cover how to install and set up this font. All you need to do is navigate to the GitHub page for this font, which will be linked down below, and click on the releases. Then you can directly download the font from here. After extracting it, you simply need to install the font by opening up the TFF folder and double clicking on the files. I only install Cascadia Code and Cascadia Mono. Cascadia Code includes ligatures, while Cascadia Mono is meant for more general purposes, such as a text editor. The PL version of each font includes powerline symbols, which are mainly used on Windows. Installing on a Mac is also a very similar procedure. After double-clicking each TFF file, after extracting the download from GitHub, you can simply click Install, and your system will now have the font. Now, we can set up VS Code. Open up Settings and find Font Family. I search for font in the search box to make finding it easier. Enter Cascadia code into the text box, replacing the default font, and you'll see the change immediately. To enable ligatures, find the setting titled Font Ligatures and click Edit in Settings.json. After you set this value to true and save Settings.json, you'll see the ligatures. If you want to enable cursive or italicized text, such as comments, you need to replace the true value with the following. Now, we can see how our comments look different. Honestly though, I love the font the most in its original style with ligatures on, so I usually keep cursive disabled. Well guys, I hope this video inspired you to try out Cascadia code, or at the very least explore some customization options for your IDE. Trust me, adding a fresh layer of paint on your IDE completely changes the coding experience. And if it helps you catch bugs faster, let me know down in the comments below. But until next time, see you guys.